But it, this is one of those things that, that I think just needs to be hit on, especially as we have, we have children growing up. We've got just even adults, you know, maybe you've had a problem with this in the past. Maybe you have a problem with it right now. I don't know. Okay. But this is one of those things that people just need to hear on a regular basis. And it's one of those things that I wish I had heard on a regular basis because I'm preaching on uh, alcohol and drugs tonight and what the Bible has to say about that and sobriety, being sober. And the Bible has a lot to say about these subjects. And, and this is one of those areas that you, I mean, you really need to get this. Okay, this, is, this, is, this is one of those things that if you, get, if you get caught down, just like fornication and adultery, it's like really bad sins. Okay, drunkenness, getting involved with alcohol is, is a really bad thing. You don't want to do this. And it could, it could literally ruin your life. And the Bible has a lot to say about this. And this is not one of those things that you need to experience for yourself in order to know what's what the truth is about it. You don't need to wonder, oh, but why do so many people go out and buy it? Look, the Bible tells us there's people like Nabal, right? He made his heart real merry with wine, but then when he was finally, you know, sobered up, then, then um, you know, his wife told him what she did and she appeased David and stuff. But you can see there's a temporary making merry or having fun, right? And you see people go off and, and will go out to the bars and they'll go out and get drunk and they'll have the booze in their house and you can see it all around you. But here's the thing. You don't have to wonder about what is, the, what is, what is it that's so great about that? Because while there is one element of receiving a warm feeling or just, just having some, some fake joy or happiness that goes along with, with the consuming of alcohol, the end is not worth it at all. And the Bible gives you all of the warnings of all of the bad things that will come from consuming alcohol that you don't need to try it in order to and experience it in order to know that it's true. Okay, let's, let's take some wisdom from the scripture. And, and it's actually, I think it's great, not that I need another proof as to why the scripture is true, but when you study all throughout the entire Bible, you can see all of these different elements of all the different things that go along with alcohol, with getting drunk, okay, and all the various situations that could happen as a result of getting drunk. They're, they're listed, they're scattered about throughout the Bible. Now, you're in Proverbs 23, stay there because we're going to look at that, that portion of Scripture. But look at chapter 20, the very first verse. Very, very popular Scripture. This is great to memorize and to just have this verse committed to memory. Verse number 1 of chapter 20 says, Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. You know what it means to be not wise? It means you're a fool. You're a fool if you're deceived by alcohol. If you're deceived by wine and strong drink, you're a fool. Now, how is that you can be deceived? What I was just talking about. Well, what is it? Why do all these people go out and, and, and go out to these bars and spend all their money and time drinking alcohol? And I see these people, they're stocking their fridge up with beer. And you go, what, what is it? What's this great mystery? Well, you know what? Don't be deceived by it. Because God's given us plenty of information, plenty of knowledge that you need to know just to stay away from it. Don't be so curious about what is that going to do. It's a mocker. You know what? When it says wine is a mocker, I mean, it's going to mock you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to ridicule and mock you because you are foolish enough to be deceived into drinking wine and strong drink is raging. Okay, it's, it's not going to leave you in a better state. It's going to leave you in a worse state than when you started. 